after creating a Shopify free trial, the next step is for you to find your way in the dashboard. So if you're new to Shopify, you probably don't know what all these are for. And that's what we want to do in this video. I'm just going to do a quick overview of the Shopify dashboard for you as a beginner. So here we have all the tools you're going to need to get your website running. And here we have the settings. So first of all, let's just click on settings down here. And most of these items are self-explanatory. So you can just click on each of them to see what each of them does. So if you want to set up your payment options, maybe you want to get paid via PayPal or Stripe, you can do that in there. You want to change any settings in your taxes, you can change that there. Maybe you want to you want to withhold tax and all that you can change the percentages for that inside here and just click on each of these to see what they all do so that's settings and then we have online store so this is where you're going to design your store if you click here on online store you're going to see that we do have themes blog post pages navigation domains and the preferences for the online store you can click on them and as the name of this suggests they do exactly what they imply so for instance pages you can create pages here you want to create an about page you want to create contact us page you can create that there blog posts you can create blog pages you can create a blog page and add all your blog posts just like you'd normally do on wordpress and navigation of course this is where you're going to add your menu items so you'll see how to work with each of this at some point in this tutorial so just follow the videos in the playlist so if you come this side, you're going to see that online store is password protected. You can disable the password. If you click there, it will take you to where you can disable the password. You can also come here under preferences. And once you get here under preferences, under preferences, you can just scroll down and you will see the option to disable the password or you can change the password. So if you do change the password, you can preview your store as you build it. To preview the store, just click here on the eye icon that's going to that's going to show you the store. We're going to change the theme and we're going to design it. So for now, don't worry about it. So you are going to need the password. So as long as you're under the trial, as long as you're still under the trial, you cannot disable the password. You'll only be able to change it. Just change the password. Just change. The, you can change the password right there. And once you change it, it will be enabled for the site. So that's where you can remove the password. Let's go back here to online store. And here under online store, you can see that we do have themes. So you can change your theme here and you're going to see how to do all that. You can change, activate, edit your theme right there. And if you want to, if you want to design the home page or, or any other pages, just click there on customize and you'll be able to customize all these elements. Of course, you're going to change the theme. So this is a default theme that comes with Shopify, but you can change themes. So if you come here under theme, you go to the theme library, you're going to see that there are free themes and there are also premium themes that you can buy and use. Free themes are okay, you can use those as well. And you're going to find a free theme that you can use for this store. And pages, you can create pages, navigation, all this, you're going to look at them at some point. If you need to add products, you have to come up here, just click on products and then you'll be able to add products. You can add collections. Collections are just a way to group your products this is a way to categorize the products and you can also manage the inventory for the products and we're going to look at some of this when we get to adding products and then you can look at the customers your customer data people who've purchased from you you can find all the details here you can look at your analytics just to see how your shop is performing total sales and all this data so you can see shopify is a very friendly Shopify is very friendly for beginners. You don't need to do anything, anything major. All the features have already been added here for you. You don't need to add anything really. And then here under marketing, you can see the marketing options that Shopify provides for you. And you can take advantage of some of this or you can use your own marketing means. And you can also create discount codes. If you do have coupons that you're giving out, you can create discounts right here. And if you need to add any features to Shopify, Maybe there are certain things that are not available and you want them on your Shopify store. You can go to the app store. You can go to the Shopify apps just to see if there are solutions that are already available for you to use. And if you want to see the apps that are available, you can just click there. And once you get here to the Shopify app store, 
what you can do is you can just come in here and search for an app maybe you want a facebook app or you want a pop-up app you can just search for it and uh, i'm sure there will be a result for you there are many many apps that you can find on the shopify app store so let's say i search for pop-ups you can see we do have this and maybe you want to use this to add some kind of exit intent on your shopify store you can you can read about it look at the reviews if if you're satisfied then you can use it if not you can find a different one and make sure that you look at the pricing because the pricing for any app will affect the cost of running your online store so if you get an app which is which is like 20 or 13 dollars a month that will be added on top of your shopify your shopify plan so just find an app that works well for you and there are many options that you can choose from so if you want to add an app you can just click add app and you look at the permissions that the app will require and you can confirm that you want to add it by clicking on install but i don't want to do that so i'm just going to forget about that for now so we've looked at most of this once people make orders on your store of course you'll come here to fulfill the orders so if there are any orders you'll just come in here come in here and you will fulfill your orders right here if there's anything special that you need to do you will do it here you maybe you need to add certain details for the customers you can do that here you need to set the order as shipped or just any fulfillment that is relevant to whatever you're selling you can do that here and you can also look at the abandoned checkout so if people come in and they don't finish the the checkout you'll find their details here and and you can remarket to them so that's something that you can do here and there are also certain apps that can help you to take care of this so if people do abandon their checkouts you can send them an email to remind them to continue the checkout process so that's something that you can do and you're going to see how to do that at some point in this at some point in this shopify tutorial so make sure you're watching the tutorial in the playlist so that's it for this video so what i've done is i've given you a brief overview of the shopify admin dashboard so you can find the settings here and just go through all of these others and see what i didn't cover and may be important to you so that's it for this section i will see you in the next section so before i end the video just a reminder how to log into your store you can just copy that up to the admin point your store link dot my shopify dot com slash admin and then if you copy that you can save it somewhere or you can bookmark it and if you go to a private window you'll be able to log in because if you don't know if you don't know the name of your store you may have problems logging in so just make sure that everything Make sure that you do copy this link and save it somewhere. That's going to help you to log into your admin dashboard if you want to maintain and manage your store. So that's it for this section. I will see you in the next part.